What's up, fish tank people? Dawson's Fish Tank bringing it to you on a Friday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, rolling back out to Colorado style, show you Jesse's cichlid fish room. Jesse's the guy that brought me out to the Rocky Mountain Cichlid Association. This is his fish room. Remote control water changes in full effect. Look, folks, the more fish tanks you have, the more work it's going to be for you to maintain those fish tanks. So the easier you can make it on yourself, the better. This has remote control water changes, set on timers to run for X amount of minutes, seconds, whatever. It's totally legit. If you're not into that, fast forward about seven minutes in. Where we show more of the fish, do me a favor, hit that notifications button and the subscribe button because I'm doing daily videos this year and you'll get the videos as I come out. Helps me, helps you. Enjoy this video and drop me a comment on what you think about this system and how it could be improved or what you could do differently. Obviously, I'm trying to think about stuff for what I got going on out here in the greenhouse and the next greenhouse. Enjoy. So the mechanics of the room. Mechanics of the room. All right, now this, folks, I've heard of this. So cool. bring it, dude. Right. Start at the very beginning, basic level. Right. And I love this stuff. And Sounds this, good. Go ahead. Okay, so the room, so the whole house is on a boiler. And so I separated out a single zone for this room. So the room is heated by hot water heat on the perimeter of the, perimeter of the room. So The perimeter of the room is heated with a coil of water? Exactly. And then, so up here I have the hot and cold coming into the water, into the room for the tanks. I have a thermostatic valve here. What brand is that? <clears throat> that is a Leonard. Do you like it? Yes. Okay. Perfect. It's a workhorse, commercial rated. Uh, this helps me with the temperature so I can I can bring the temperature to exactly what I want. This is a regulator, pressure regulator, so that when I switch from copper to PVC, I have the right pressure. And then coming out of here, so this is when it converts all to PVC. This is my uh, filtration. This is my purifier for water. It takes out all of the chlorine and chloramines. I replace that about every six months. What's inside of this? So this is, a, it's a specific filter uh, that takes out, that it's a carbon block filter that removes chlorine and chloramines. Anything else besides those? Yeah. Just that, okay, yeah. cool. Uh, on the house itself, I have a sediment filter and it's a, there's another chlorine block, but this is my safeguard just for the fish room. That's smart. I have this plum for a second one if I ever want to filter out some some more things. But so far, look at that. Wood, we're Planning good. ahead, I like that. Yes, Built sir. for room for another one, just in case. Yep. Down to here. Then oh, this whole this. this is this is the irrigation controller. Okay. Uh, you buy these at any irrigation. How much was that? You this think? Was uh, probably 140 bucks. Okay. Yep. And it has capacity for 18 zones. I'm only running 12 right now, but in the future if I want to add, and it comes with this wireless remote. Nice. I like it. Yeah. Please continue. So it comes with 18 settings. It's like 150 yeah. bucks. Yeah. Uh, you buy, coming back to these zone valves over here, you buy these in a the, so it comes three zones per setup. So you can see one zone, two, three. So I've gone three, six, nine, twelve. Wow. And then these are on timers. And then these are these are on. So the the, the controller itself, I can I can set them up for just like you're doing on your sprinklers at home. You can set it up to do zone one every other day for 10 minutes if you want. Technically, what, what I do is just use, use this control uh, while I'm here so I can see what's going on. Really, uh, if I go away for 10 days, then I'll do, remotely, I'll do water changes to all my tanks huh. as well. That's cool. Yeah. I like the setup in a zone system. 
know, they sell them like this. That can do up to 18. Very cool. I think probably the biggest challenge in the fish room is diagramming how all of your zones are going to get to the specific tanks that you're trying to get to. So let's say hypothetically I'm trying to get all the way over two walls away with this zone. I might be trying to cross the all of these oh, pipes in yeah, the I wrong place and then you're stuck. Oh yeah. So I spent a lot of time drawing this out. Wow. Really which pipe was going to takes go to the which tank. first turn takes yeah. the that would be very complicated yeah. because when they go down here it's not like it's a straight doom doom it's yeah. down then it's across yep. and back up yep. and you got to make sure you're not in front of somebody i'm with you yeah. now that's some jenga man how great are these oh man those are all it's the only besides sponge filters this is, this is the only filter. dude those are beasts man yeah. All right. Love the the water change system, man. Yeah. So where does it drain out here? You were gonna show. Yeah. So basically. Oh, I like how it's black. Yeah, nice. It's black, so it goes away. The on the up against the. You wall. bought the. Where'd you get the black PVC? Uh, Home Depot. Really? Yeah, wow. They call it ABS. Okay. Yeah. Blends in nicely. Yeah. Uh, the entire perimeter of the room has this four inch ABS pipe. Wow. Have, uh, then all of my tanks are drilled in the back and they all drain into kind of vertical stacks that run back into the ABS as well. That so that's the drain right there. I love this style. Do you just dock it over? Yeah. That's the best, man. I run those in my 40 breeders. I have four of them in a row and I just walk by and I just flip them over, boom, boom, boom. And yeah. you're 90% or whatever you need yeah. to be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it, it, it took balls to like do that that low the first time. I was like, man, do I really want to drill this tank this low? Like, what if this screws up? I know. But uh, it's well worth doing. Yeah. Then you can just go right to your your level. Yeah. Totally so that's cool. drilled, and that goes into black ABS back here. You've got your quick change up front here, and then yeah, and then the black runs along there as well. Yeah. Nice man. That's real clean. I like that. I like the look of that. I hadn't thought about you getting black. Seems like a no-brainer. Yeah. And let's see, I can demo the water change system. So right here, go up to the wall, I have my remote. Get out of here. Which is great, so I can Oh, dude, you, you're uh, you got to come to and you're you're doing the greenhouse. Uh, Love it. Hook it up, man. Yeah, yeah you're gonna come on out there. Right, here's zone yeah. one, zone two. Okay, so each one of my tanks is labeled a different number. Okay. So if we go to tank number eleven here, it's got the it's a one twenty five with a wild colony of Samazi frontosa. I'll go just for grins. I'll do a two minute. Water change on. You just push to two. Push to two, then I go on to eleven, and almost like magic. Wow! What'd you do to fill it? Just press eleven. Yes. And that's fill number eleven. Yep. Ha! Huh. So that wow. water will run. And that's already going through a decord system. Yep. We're already at temp because you got your mixing valve. Yep. Wow! I like it while you're sitting here hanging out and pushing two buttons. That's pretty slick, man. So that's coming out at temp, at, I got it. Wow, nice. So can you, how, can you can say how far down you want the water change to go or is it a preset? So really I do it by time. Okay. Um, if I want to do a major water change, I'll take the vertical pipes that are drilled into the back and I'll right. push them like you were talking about. Oh yeah, push it's the best, down. man. Boom, yeah. down, put them down. And then, but what do you say you do it by time? What does that so, mean? So now what's happening without without moving where the vertical stacks are right. on the left, where I have them drilled, on the left side and the right side. I gotcha. All I have to do, this, this basically is circulating the water in a round kind of motion like this. Okay. 
And so as the water's spilling in the middle, it's still, it's raising to the level of the drain and then draining out. Okay. So on a on a day-to-day -day basis, these are the types of water changes that I do. Okay. And then when I come in and I want to do a major water change, that's when I'll take the stack and slam it. Turn. This is my love those. Yep. Love that style. Yeah. Quiet, dude. You can't have noise, quiet. dude. There's no noise. Super yeah. Quiet. Shout outs to Jemco, right? Yes, sir. Dude, that dude has the best air pumps. Yeah. Like, I have the smaller blue version of this. I got it wet. It still runs in like a third of its power. Like, yeah. still, it was like this much water in it, and it still runs. Yeah. Oh, they're amazing. Super Quality. Happy. We're having a conversation underneath it. Yeah. You know, yeah, those are. Bomb. What else would you like to point out while we're back here? Uh, that feeds an airline like this? Yep. Yeah, it, it, it runs an entire loop of the room, and then I have a bleeder valve at the far corner, the furthest corner from the pump itself. Okay. And have more than enough power to run everything. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, even with my super deep tanks. That's cool. So, so you like this? This thing to the GDC. We'll show this loop around the top here too. That's pretty sick. Yes, sir. Gives me a lot of flexibility. I can drill new holes anywhere I need to. Plenty of little space there. Yeah. Clean look. Yeah. No noise. No noise. This is the over to the right. This is the bleeder valve that I was talking about. Gemco, Do you need this or? Yeah, Jemco really recommends that you have that in case pressure builds up for one reason or another. It's got somewhere to to escape rather than just build up in the in the PVC and then backflow to the, hurt the pump. Into the pump, yeah. Jemco's got it, man. Absolutely. Yeah, Jemco's got it. When I get John on the phone, like he knows he's in trouble because I'm gonna be asking him some yeah. stuff. <laughs> like. Hey John, do you have a minute? Like, and it's like, oh, I got this. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, he's got it. Like I was saying at the beginning of the conversation, I really, in designing this fish room from scratch, I wanted to be sure that it was a place that one was super functional, so that I could really have fun in here and and have the ability to spawn a lot of different types of fish. But two, to make it a place that my non my non-hobbyist friends can come in and, and have an appreciation for it too. So the aesthetic feel like painting the backs of the tanks, painting the floor, painting the walls. I gotcha. Having art on the walls. Making it playful yeah. for non-fish yeah. junkies. I like it. Folks remote control water changes. Do me a favor, drop me a comment on what you think about the remote control water changes or just the system he has. Imagine if Josh walked around my greenhouse and pushed a button and just did a 50% water change or ran 100 gallons of water through a 125 system. It's legit and I've got Jesse on speed dial. Jesse, thanks for having me out to both your club and your house. Folks, I got a lot more for you though. This weekend I got Mr. Larry Brown's fish room. Click links around here to see it back in the day. I go and visit him as well. He's got the most style, the craziest stuff. Dude was at a St. Paddy's Day party before I went over to his house. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications button to check that out. Coming at you, manana. Tank on everybody. Later.